Hi there, it's been almost an hour, but this controller is finally been ready. And it's bootleg, as you know. Just because of its words and the little the icon. But this is the off-branded Xenoblade Chronicles Pro Controller. Finally for the Switch. Now this is something that people must want it, but they want the real one. I'll tell you about this, but it's just some charm. This is an authentic, perfectly styled Pro Controller that I have founded. That has to be exact to my charm. And this packaging... Oh! Okay, I didn't know it come with these rubber pads. A cable. Now this is a masterpiece. The only problem is no the game fan thingy. The analog sticks are the font code good. The the D pad it's soft and these buttons The plus star home silhouette screenshot and the ABXY buttons. This control is made for Xenoblade Chronicles 2, but for my opin opinion, the only thing I really want this, I originally wanted those Super Smash Bros. Ultimate controllers. If I couldn't find one, I shouldn't just get the white one. Of course, it comes with the USB, simply off branded. But this is made for Xenoblade Chronicles 2. For me, about Zero Chronicles 2, I just want to play play with it because of Pyro in Smash Bros. Just for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, because all controls are the same. Look at the difference between the, the Wii and this one. This is the one that people thought it may be the best, and this is the one people wanted. Because it's different. So we're going to peel out its charms. And then later, I think I want to go buy some... Classic games next, so like something easier, like something like I don't know. I think I'm going with Smash. It's the only test I could do. So now I'm gonna go pair it. For some people, like, you could just easily press the sync button, right? Well, this sync button's uh oh, bad news. It's so small that oh uh, wait, it's coming. It's coming. Yeah! It actually works! You guys, this is the perfect timing. And what a coincidence. Because now, we're going to go to Smash Bros. Okay. Cloud of Sea of Alterist. And play the Pacific character for this right perfect controller. Oh, and Pyro's going to fight against... Hmm, I know. This is perfect. Now this is some good old controllers. Alright, begin. Perfect story. Aha. Uh -huh. And plus, if you don't feel, if you, if you can't feel it, the rumble is kind of a bit sensitive. It's not like the Pro Controller's counter pro. Just a bit far from the earth. Oh, plus I'm putting the quick start. <laughs> Sorry. And the buttons work. ZL or ZR. Grab. <laughs> now I'm gonna bust it from the special thing. I'll do it. Down B. Perfect. Ooh. So, your thoughts, maybe opinions, like, you, why can't we just buy a perfect pro controller that works with its own game? In my opinion, I don't think it couldn't because, uh oh, false smash. It's not what people said I want, like, People just want their original one. Oh, there goes Nana. The original Zimmer Conquest 2 Pro Controller. Even the ones that were shipping to Japan. But the problem is, they're too expensive to get. So you can't find any of the good ones. Fun Smash. Man. So, yeah. This controller is a bit unexpected, but it's kind of good for people who play anything at least. And heck, I even played 
with this for Smash on now on. So I won. Let's go test some. I'm gonna go compare. Give you guys a hint how to find a better opinion, a better version. Now from there. Now to test to find a perfect pro controller that doesn't have this thing and disaster in the box. You have to find the Nintendo Switch logo. You got to have an NFC. Everyone needs an NFC amiibo for a testing subject. This, you try to look very closely, there is a, it's a Phillips, I don't know. Yeah, it's a, a Phillips screwdriver. Yep, this side. Look for this side, they're Phillips. You, you cannot find, you gotta find a pro controller that only has the tri-ring screw. So, yeah. Also in this, I want to test it out with some buttons. Alright, time for some analog tests. Then you cut. Alright, this Genesis, we got it. Okay. Hmm, working good. Also, well, now the buttons. L works right. ZR is good. Uh, now the the D pad and the plus and the minus. Everything looks good at least. So it's the screenshot button. So yeah, this controller is pretty good. Now let's set it up. So how was my initial thoughts of this bootleg style? Pro Control from China, it's kind of good. Some of the buttons are rapidly responsive, some of them work well, and everything on the analogs, they work fine. Oh, and this USB cable, it's the same thing as well. Look at here. And that connects to such as a wired cable. So, you guys know your thoughts, and let me know if you like this thing so much, and I'll give you another video.